Uh, do you get your peaches down in Georgia or? Um, You're uh, in California. Oh, Linville. Oh, Linville. It's much closer. <laughs> That's why Shana went there instead. Well, I went to Delco to get my peaches, not Georgia, but that's okay because we have a lot to show you about picking the perfect peach. We have these donut peaches in person where we'll talk about those. Also, the Harvest Festival to get to that they're promoting here at Lynn Villa Orchards. And, of course, the ones you get at the grocery store, the yellow peaches. We'll show you what you got to do to pick the perfect one coming up. Oh, it is peach season, no question about it. Eh? Mm -hmm. And if you've ever wanted to pick your own or simply know when they're ripe exactly, so, Yeah, Shana's there uh, having fun. Yes, I am. Good morning, guys. So we're all about pitch, peach picking. I guess the, the you gotta pitch the white, right one, right? So it's like pitch, peach, gotta pitch the perfect peach. Here <laughs> is Noir here with Lynn Villa Orchards. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Shana. Great to have you guys here. Likewise, likewise. So talk to me because, oh my gosh, so we have these kind of peaches. There's multiple peaches to pick from, but like what's the hallmark of picking a good peach? Uh, the secret is to understand that each variety have like a three-week window and that they get 25% bigger right before. So you wanna look for a colorful peach and the less green, the better it's gonna ta taste. If it gives a little like this does here. So a little, a little soft on yep. the edge, okay. Then you know it's, it's ready to eat. Gotcha. So you wanna pick some like this, you wanna pick some that are greener so that you can eat them over a longer period of time. Okay, so and what are these called? Cause these are called donut peaches. These are donut peaches. They were developed probably, time goes by quickly, maybe 25 years ago. Okay. All of a sudden one day they saw them as they were breeding peaches and said, wow, this one's even sweeter. And the following is really taken off. We have yellow ones and white ones now, and we're gonna start picking these on Thursday. Oh, fun. So the key, of course, is the color and the softness of it to eat it right away. And if you want it, want it to last longer, pick it a little harder, like you get at the grocery store. Just like the store. And peaches, they have a habit. If one goes bad, they all go bad. So okay. if you do pick firm ones and you're not going to put them in the fridge, spread them out. Oh, okay. And then as you see them get a little soft, get them in the fridge. Smart. Okay. And then these are the ones right here, the white, these are called the white ones, right? These are the yellow peaches. Oh, the, the so yellow th peaches. And this is what you see most commonly in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. um, but ours, you'll see, are bigger than you'll see in the store because they get 20% bigger after they get, uh, as they ripen, and okay. they can't afford to wait that long for the ones that you have in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. So those are firmer and they won't be as juicy and flavorful. And we also have white peaches here, a white flesh peach. Nice. And those are less acid, more sugary tasting. Okay, cool. Mm. So how much does it cost for someone to come out and pick their own peaches? Yeah, anything pick your own is $9 a person to get a ticket online, $10 if you walk up to the stand, and uh, you get a hayride to the field, and you'll get a two-quart bag for peaches, or depending on what we're picking, a pint of raspberries or a pint of strawberries or a pint of blackberries. Different crops come in different size containers. Very cool. And you guys are having a harvest festival first weekend in August, which, which is where you can get some of these sunflowers that you're looking at here. You'll have, what is it, 10,000 or more, more than 10,000? Yeah, we planted 50,000 sunflowers this year, knowing that the peach crop is light, so that on the day of our, generally the first Saturday in August is our peach festival. We're calling it the harvest festival. We'll have over 10,000 sunflowers to choose from and we have 50,000 in the ground. You can cut sunflowers any day, today till November. Very cool, all right, so which is the one I could try? This is this, this. This is what you want. The ones that are a little soft like this, and when you, we always say, you know it's a Lynn Villa peach when you have to eat it in the bathtub. Uh-oh, <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Because when they're juicy like that, you won't get that in the supermarket. No, not at all. Mm. That'll do it. Oh, I'm sending it back to you guys in the studio. Mm. Here, that it sounds oh, juicy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know, oh, it's great. You gotta eat it bending over. Now, Shana, usually he's kind to us and sends us all kinds of Limbilla goodies. So sweet, yeah. Yes. Norm is the best. So please tell him we appreciate it. Yep. <laughs>